Happy Veterans Day from your friends at the Kensington. We are grateful for the service and sacrifice of all of our military men and women. Today, we highlight the story of Lieutenant Colonel John Hell, known by his friends and family as Jack. Jack is a member of the first graduating class of the United States Air Force Academy. Thanks again, Jack, and all of our military veterans. Okay, let's see, I was born in Fort Collins, Colorado, 1935. I was the oldest of the twins. We were both born <clears throat> 16 July, 1935. Uh, Jerry and I didn't realize the advantage we had of growing up with a twin brother because you always had somebody you could beat up on or play with. When we were growing up, the, uh, everybody was played, I don't know if you want to call it army or what we visualized the war zones to be about because that was what on, that's what all the, uh, everybody we knew, it was it was the, a unifying subject of conversation among uh, everybody. The playground was wherever you lived, and you just imagined it to be some sort of version of the war zone. And war was the, uh, the war was the topic of everybody's conversation. And uh, I think it was almost every kid then wanted to be uh, participating in what was going on. So we had uh, our uh, make-believe uh, bases and, uh, I suppose, weapons. It was a definite part of what we did, and uh, we had a talented uh, woodworking uh, relative, who, uh, and we made uh, our own imitation guns, rifles, so forth. I remember scouting around for the um, materials to make things that looked like the uh, the real guns, and uh, I remember their um, ma mailing things that you mailed things in uh, mailing tubes were were a natural machine gun you could own. It was uh, an interesting time because everybody either had a very close or a near relative who was over, quote, over there trying to keep the uh, world safe for democracy. Yeah, I think the big, the big influence on uh, my brother and I was uh, the scouts, scouting. It was uh, sort of paramilitary in a way, and then it was organized and uh, um, competing groups. My, our dad was a Eagle Scout and so scouting was a, a major part of our growing up and you didn't have all the diversions that you have now like television and uh, so it, you uh, grew up and cultivated a very good imagination. If you were a, uh, a guy of, of military age, then you got drafted or volunteered, and every family had someone like that. Got a, an appointment to the Air Force Academy in the uh, initial class. I, my brother gave me some advice. Uh, he said, Jack, I've met some of these guys from Annapolis. Uh, they're not too sharp. You could probably get in. So that was it. I applied and did get in. I think they were sharper than he thought. <laughs> well, the, uh, <clears throat> the one of the best things I think about the Air Force Academy is that it engenders, it, it gives you a, something to be proud of. 
something to belong to, and something to do for, and uh, make you, uh, I guess, earn your place on the planet. Well, the, the Air Force Academy was a, uh, <clears throat> a relatively new venture, and uh, the, everything that the cadets ate, did, thought was uh, out for public consumption. I think that's a very major part of what makes the, a, a military uh, career valuable is that you uh, form, you, you have responsibilities f for uh, influencing others. I don't know if they, if you can sum it all by, you have leadership opportunities where you're responsible for an outcome but not in control of all the factors. And uh, that, I guess, is a substantial part of your personality and approach to life. The best attribute I had at the academy was an adult brother that I could that could get me out on weekends and I could take two buddies with me. So I had the, probably the, <laughs> Jerry was probably the most valuable attribute I had for my social life. I like uh, having a positive impact on people that I meet, situations that I'm in. Uh, I don't know if I evolved into that attitude or it just happened because I uh, was fortunate enough to be uh, selected to the uh, initial class at the academy. For those of you who have accepted a responsibility beyond your own self-care, self-interest, self, uh, and you know the uh, the huge sense of satisfaction you can derive from being uh, outside of yourself. In other words, more concerned about others and the Im your impact on them than you were on your own self. In some, I would say, there are more opportunities that pass you by than you can grab. So don't ever let one go by without doing what you can to uh, use that position or that information to make somebody else's life better.